All right, we got the NBA playoffs, and we have a question for you all that we're going to answer as well. Who has the easiest path to the NBA championship? All that coming up, just a minute. What's good, everybody? It's your boy Jay here with Unfair Sports, where we take a pensive approach to the sports conversation. Make sure you hit the like and the subscribe button and also share. Why? Because sharing is caring. And the only way this content gets out there is because of you, the people. All right. So now we are in the house of the playoffs. Mm -hmm. As I mentioned before, the NBA players are starting. We're now at the exciting part of the year. We can actually focus and... Um, enjoy some ball, not watch a bunch of mediocreness, or hope, well, hopefully not a whole bunch of injuries to go with. And hopefully none of this is mediocre. As we right. dealt with a ton of blowouts, especially like from my Thunder and the Rockets and everybody in that scenario. Anyway, beard, mustache, bull. The brackets are up. So the Eastern Conference, we have, of course, Philadelphia 76ers took the one seed, Brooklyn Nets at two, the Bucks got the third seed, the New York Knicks got the fourth seed. Uh, fifth, Atlanta Hawks. Sixth, the Miami Heat. And then the two teams in seven and eight for the play in on the east. And then on the west, we got the Utah Jazz, Phoenix Suns, Denver Nuggets, Los Angeles Clippers, which is wild. The Dallas Mavericks, Portland Trailblazers, and in seven and eight in the play in. So, Jimmy, I have to ask the question of who do we feel like will have the easiest route to the championship Mm -hmm. and I'm going to tell you who I think it is first. Okay. The Lakers. Lakers will. So Lakers are most likely going to win this game. Okay. Which will make it a little simple for them. So Mm -hmm. they're going to go win this game on Wednesday against the Warriors. So that means that they're going to play the Phoenix Suns in the first round. Correct. As much as I love the Phoenix Suns and what Chris Paul has been able to do there, they cannot match up against the Lakers. Nope. They will win game one and have us all thinking, well, what are we going to do? The Lakers are not going to make it. There's a chance the Lakers are going to get eliminated. We're going to have all that conversation. And then all of a sudden, the Lakers are going to rile off four straight wins Mm -hmm. to win the series four games to one. Next round, they'll go up against most likely the Denver Nuggets, even though they just lost to the Portland Trailblazers. I think they did that on purpose. Denver makes it in the second round. Once they go in the second round, they play against the Lakers, and they will get mollywopped a second time in the row. That will lead the Lakers to the Western Conference Finals mm-hmm. to take on, most likely, the Los Angeles Clippers. Mm-hmm. And it will have the 7C versus the 4. <clears throat> All of it's in L.A., and then we'll go into the NBA Finals. So mm-hmm. I'm five. if there's any team I would pick that's an easier route, it's going to be the Lakers. Mm-hmm. Who you got? Well, I had to first – declare once and for all who my picks for the finals are going to be one of these i'm going to stick with you know who it is i didn't want to have to do this but i'm going to do it and that is the clippers oh wow the clippers who he said it out loud twice too it's like being easy but uh, (laughs) (laughs) but coming out of the west so the way i see it they most likely this is what they're going to be looking at they're obviously you have to play the mavericks they're going to beat the mavericks then they're going to have the Blazers after that who are going to beat no, the Nuggets in seven. They won't have yes. the Blazers. No. They will beat them. There's no way that they played the Blazers then in the second round. The Lakers. There's absolutely the no Lakers. way that they can play the Blazers in the second round. The yeah, Blazers are a six way. seed. The Blazers are a six seed. There's no way it can happen. Why is that? Because it's one, eight, four, five. So they're guaranteed to play the one or the eight in the second round. Well, all right. So tell me this. All right. So Utah, let's say Utah plays at eight. Let's say they beat. The, let's say they beat the Warriors at eight. So you Doesn't have matter. one. Doesn't matter. What it's always matter? it's always one eight four five. Mm-hmm. It always follows that same trajectory, no matter what. So even if all right, even if the lowest seed remaining in the playoffs is the seven, which would be the Lakers, Utah wouldn't play the Lakers in the second round. Nope, they don't play by okay. by that. It's always right. one eight four five. Okay, thank you for that. So scratch Blazers. We'll put in Jazz. They're going to beat them. Then they're going to beat the Lakers after that. Okay, coming out of the East, I have the Sixers. I see the Sixers, and I might oh, have you to, went both to, both conferences. Yeah, I, okay. I might have to reformulate this in light of what you just said. I have them beating the Pacers, who will be eight. Okay, this will work. Then I have them beating the Knicks, who are going to beat the Hawks. Yep. Then I have them beating the Nets, who barely escaped their second round series against either Milwaukee or Miami. But one of their players is going to be down, evening the playing field for the 76ers, and they finally get over the threshold, make it to the finals. 
Between the Clippers and the Sixers, I say the Sixers have the easiest route, going from the Pacers to the Knicks to the Nets, minus one of their stars. So I would say the Sixers. Man, that's a pretty good one. That, yep. I, that's a good one. I, I can't argue. The, the one thing for Philly that I feel like is going to be tougher is that I'm already already opposite on that is that they're not going to face the Nets. They're going to play the Bucks, and I think the Bucks will beat them. I think I the Bucks are actually I, I really, going to the finals. I really could see that. But the Bucks is not going to have an easy route because no. they have to beat Miami this time around. Yes. Which is going to be a lot of work, which kind of hurts my pick on them because Miami's a sixth seed this year. Mm-hmm. Milwaukee has figured out. But – because Milwaukee has Drew Holiday, he is the difference maker. He will change the trajectory for this team mm-hmm. because if Boone is smart, he will focus on him and Middleton and not Giannis when it comes to going through these rounds, especially at the end of the game. And you also have three-point corner specialist P.J. Tucker. Who he can is, further, yeah. yeah. Who will get a lot of open shots because if they you know, build the proverbial fence around the paint to keep Giannis out of it, he's open, Middleton's open, Drew Holiday's open. I agree, 100%. So – Having that set up, mm-hmm. when they go against Brooklyn, Brooklyn's not going to beat Milwaukee. Mm-hmm. They're not. I can I, see that. I, as much as I would like to say that Mil- that Brooklyn can just go out there and outscore them, there's a reason why teams weren't able to just go out there and outscore teams in the, in the playoffs ever. Mm-hmm. It doesn't work. You can't just go score. That's why the Phoenix Suns never mm-hmm. worked back in their day. The Rockets never worked in that day. Because at a certain point when they start buckling down defensively, I think if any team in the East that can defend the Nets – it's the Bucks. They won't stop them, but they can defend them. And by mm-hmm. defending them, it will make it so much harder to the point of shots. Giannis can alter Kevin Durant's shots. Hell, we watched him block his shot a couple of games ago. Mm-hmm. That's going to continue to happen. And because of that, that's when the Brooklyn Nets gets eliminated second round. Okay. Well, with the Bucks, just real quick, can P.J. Tucker guard James Harden? Because I see Drew Holiday on Kyrie Irving, and Drew Holiday is one of the better on-ball defenders. But can P.J. Tucker play defense? P.J. Tucker can play really good defense, but he's more of a post defender Somehow. so he'll probably put more body on like Jeff Green or mm. uh DeAndre Jordan I don't know if he's fast enough to keep up with James Harden okay. but with James and that hamstring could be a different story we don't right. know what James Harden's gonna look James is gonna look like right after wearing up in the first round against either the Wizards if, oh my Give them the Wizards. That will be so much fun watching them. There's going to be a lot of bodies in that series. <laughs> now, Brooklyn's going to blow them out in four games, but it'll be a lot of bodies, and they may get uh, the rest from it. Give Russ a 20-20-20 triple-double and say, gentlemen, sweep in five. No, it's going to be a sweep. Russ is going to get his 20-20-20, <laughs> but guess what's going to happen? No, there's not going to be any. He's gonna, loss, he loss, loss. No help. No help. Who's going to mm-hmm. stop Kevin Durant? Correction. Who's going to defend Kevin Durant? They have nobody. Exactly. That's all they need. Kyrie and it'll be Kyrie and Russ. Easy. Mm-hmm. Um, you'll have Beal on Harden. Mm-hmm. But then I don't know who else is going to actually defend. So it's Kevin hamstring Durant. versus hamstring with Beal versus Harden. There you go. Who who's pops first? I say Harden's. Harden's. I'm gonna say I think Harden's more severe because he was out the longest, and he's been coming off the bench like 20, 20 minutes or so a game. Which I mean, that might be the best way to load manage him. On, honestly, it probably would be. Which I like your question about load management. You talked about pre production. That right. makes sense. That 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 could be something. We'll load see managing in the playoffs. Team. Load yeah. managing by having like them come off the bench and you have the mm-hmm. six man role in certain games that are critical. Right. And uh, cut back on their minutes, which will be a good play. So that's that's good. So. No, let, let, let's go. What's up with your, with your, 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 your uh, <laughs> flabbergasted over just, there? Bro. I am. I am. I am. I am a flux in this one. It, it's it's what it's. I, I'm trying to figure out. I mean, you pick the Clippers, of course, to make it all the way through, and you feel like they're going to get there. I'm just trying to get a much better understanding of how you really think they're going to get through. Not only Dallas, but Utah so bro, easily, I, or Golden State. I don't know how they're going to get past the Mavericks because the Mavericks, they have the revenge factor because it was them that put them out. And they feel like they should have beat, they should have beat the Clippers last season if they hadn't lost Chris Stapps Porzingis, who's healthy now. So what, what, what do you say consider healthy? <laughs> he puts on his laces in his uniform and he goes out onto the court. So he actually is playing. How many minutes is he playing? I don't know, but he's playing. And, you know, you have all these guys there. You're more experienced. They're, they're a year Better. I mean, Luca had around the same type of a season that he's had. He needs to complain a little bit less. We all know that. But, I mean, they're going to give them all they can handle. So even if they get out of that series, which might take them six or seven, then you have the Jazz, which I mean, one of the best defenses, number one seed, so you don't have the home court. And I'm telling you, uh, Bogdanovich adding him 
is what has really helped this team to get that number one seed because everybody else is about the same. I mean, Conley's had a good season. He had an all-star season. Thank you, all-star season. Um, you, have, you have Donovan Mitchell. We don't know what he's going to look like coming back. And then you have the Stifle Tower, obviously. But I think the the Jazz, they're built for – the way they make you – they want you to play is the way they want to make you play in the playoffs. Right. Which is half court, slow it down, you know, body on body. And I don't know how the Clippers are going to get past that, especially since they've had to load manage Paul George and Kawhi. And you're not going to be able to do that in a series with the number one seed. Not with that type of team. And then after that, you have the Lakers most likely waiting for you. I don't know how they're going to do this. Okay. Well, let me ask you this question then. We're going to jump into this okay. before we move on to the next seg. Who do you think Philadelphia wants and the Jazz wants in the play-in? Who do they want to play against? Out of the four teams, who do you think they – out of the, the two teams, who – well, no, the four teams, mm-hmm. who do they prefer to play? See, the Sixers got it good because they say, all right, we can play the Celtics minus one of their stars. We can play a young Charlotte team. They don't want the Pacers, and I don't think they want to chase – well, they wouldn't be chasing – well, yeah, I guess they could if the Wizards lose – the 7-8 game, and then they win the next one, then they're in the 8. They don't want them, so they want either Boston or Charlotte. That's who they want. They'll, they'll take either one of those, probably Boston, I think, because when you watch Boston play, and you can see it, they just, that extra bit of grit that they need, they just don't have this year. I don't know if they've ever had it. Maybe they have because they made so many Eastern Conference finals, but they just don't have it this year. Charlotte, they're out there having fun. They're running around. Everybody's got loads of energy. You don't want to have to chase them around and tire yourself out by the time you get to the second round. In which their second round is going to be against either the Knicks or the Hawks, which is actually very – That works for them. Very beneficial. Yeah. I, I, I'm, I'm seeing Philadelphia as having a really easy route because I forgot about that yeah. Hawks and Knicks. I, I don't – either one of those two, I, I don't them. have anything for them. So, I mean, I, I and that, that's why I mentioned it because I'm, mm-hmm. I'm seeing that now as I'm really thinking and we're talking through this. Mm-hmm. Jazz, who do you think the Jazz wants? In that eight. <laughs> <laughs> you see what I'm Obviously saying? Obviously, they don't want the Lakers. I don't think they want the Warriors. All right, Lakers win. So, Warriors would then play out of San Antonio and Memphis. They're praying for either the 9 or the 10. They want either Memphis. That's kind of a walk in the park for them, as well as San Antonio. That's the, San Antonio's an easy sweep. Memphis, they put them out in five. The Warriors and the Lakers, they will make them pay the entire series. They don't want any part of that. Mm. Mm-hmm. That's a good one. Yeah, so probably San Antonio. Okay. Yeah. I mean, they could, they could rest Donovan Mitchell the entire series and still win. That's, that's so disrespectful. Not they, were, they could. I mean, outside, <laughs> that is so disrespectful. Outside of DeMar DeRozan, who's got one foot in San Antonio and one foot out, who do they have to fear? Now, I mean, it's true. I mean, Aldridge is gone, and now he's actually retired. Yeah. The health could, health or whatnot, so mm-hmm. I, I actually don't. That's what I'm saying. The Spurs were never supposed to be here. It was supposed to be New Orleans, and they, they screwed it up somehow. And then well, I think Zion got I hurt. think that, as David Griffin would say, the NBA screwed it up by allowing Zion to get attacked so much. Exactly. And getting his fingers snapped. Which, for that reason, the NBA might start to officiate him differently because that's going to hurt them a little bit in terms of advertising revenue. If you have – Memphis versus New Orleans, that's a lot better than Memphis versus San Antonio. Oh no, I'm with you on that, but I'm I'm gonna be I'm gonna keep it gangster. I don't think it matters. <laughs> the nine ten. Maybe not. Maybe not that much. No, I I don't think it matters with um officiating Zion or not or, and advertising. They're gonna get their money. It don't mm-hmm. matter. The NBA is good. Now, this tenure, this next contract coming up for ten years, they're good. After that, in order to continue to increase, mm-hmm. they may run into a problem with COVID. 